Good morning, Frankfurt. Welcome back. This is the Daily Announcement on HDTV. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Hope you all made it up the walk. I'm Lily and this is Richard. And, and we these have are the daily announcements. announcements. For lunch today in lines one and two, we'll have pizza sticks. In line three, we'll have soup and salad again. In lines four is empty. In line five, Wild Mike's Pizza. For birthdays today, Eric Longoria Rocha. Now the weather. It is 36 degrees outside, but it feels like 22. It's a 55% chance of precipitation and also there is a light fog. But watch out because it is very slippery outside. Now back to the studio. Frankfurt Deca traveled to Westfield High School this past Saturday to compete at the District 4 Conference. Nine high school Deca chapters completed in this year's competition. Yes, We are pleased to announce 16 Deca students qualified to compete in the Indiana Deca State Conference in March. Also, congratulations to Frankfurt Deca on being recognized as the most charitable, sorry, chapter, and to Miss Bishop as she was recognized as the 2018 DECA District for Outstanding Business Educator. DECA After Dark Hours will be today from 2.45 to 4 o'clock. DECA cookies this week are M&M and chocolate chip cookies. Stop by the DECA cart to purchase your cookies between passing periods. Excel Edge Test Prep, not just preparation, new ways of thinking. SAT 1600 is an eight-week test program for the May 5th SAT. Miss Russian and Miss Fitch can help with questions as well. Seniors, are you ready to apply for Ivy Tech Community College? No? Well, Madison Delks from the Lafayette Ivy Tech will be here on Wednesday, January 17th from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. She will be here to walk you through the Ivy Tech admissions application and answer any questions you might have about admissions, <clears throat> scholarships, and more. You sign up, see Ms. McGuire. As a reminder, the weight room is open during student resource time every Monday and Friday. Parent-teacher conference, pick up your student's report card and talk with their teachers. Teachers will be in their classrooms and meet with parents. Aerobic fitness, this class will focus on cardiovascular and muscular endurance activities that can be done throughout a student's li lifetime in order to maintain a healthy lifestyle by focusing on these activities. Students will be able to work towards a healthy body composition and overall wellness. Training philosophies, individual fitness tackling, and training logs. Endurance sport specific nutrition and other aerobic fitness principles will be discussed. Activities will vary with the time of year but can include rowing, running, exercise biking, aqua jogging, and other endurance activities. This new elective PE class will be available starting with the 2018-2019 school year, replacing lifetime fitness. Big broadcast editions will be Monday and Tuesday, January 15th and 16th at 3 in the live theater. All performances will be no longer than three minutes and show ready. In order to be in the show, you must audition. There will be no submissions accepted after January 16th. Anyone interested in uh, being part of walk-ons, there will be a call out this Tuesday after school in the theater. Come with a skit idea. Anyone interested in working crew for Big Progress, there will be a call out this Wednesday during community. Have any questions? Please see Ms. Mr. Taylor. Awesome job to our swimmers in the double dual meet. They swam very well versus both teams and are looking forward to a conference. Against Crawfordsville, the girls lost 65 to 118, while the boys fell 40 to 139. On the other side of things, the girls were able to turn things around with a 122 to 43 win over North Putnam. The boys lost 73 to 84. In girls wrestling regional action, Noemi Gihosa placed third and qualified for the IHS Girls Wrestling State. We plan to have state shirts made for Noemi. If you would like to order one, please get your name and size to Coach Salih, no later than the end of the school day Tuesday. The cost will be $10. In varsity wrestling action, this past Saturday, the Hot Dogs went 1-3. and three. The boys' basketball team had a huge comeback victory over rival Lebanon, 49-45 to 45 Friday night. The Dogs trailed the entire game until the last two minutes. Frankfurt went 9-11 for 11 from the free throw line to help put away the game at the end. The team fell at Zinesville Saturday night, 47-73. The
Awesome job to our swimmers in the double duel meet. No later than the end of the school. This past Saturday, the Hot Dogs went 1-3. and three. The boys basketball team had a huge comeback victory over rival Lebanon, 49-45 to Friday night. The Dogs trailed the entire game until the last two minutes. Frankfurt went 9-11 for 11 from the free throw line to help put away the game at the end. The team fell at Zinesville Saturday night, 47-73. to The team played a solid first half on both ends of the floor and went into the half being down only by one. Unfortunately, the Dogs were unable to score and manufacture stops on the defensive end, being outscored 45-20 to in the second half. Frankfurt football weights and conditioning will start today for all non-winter sport athletes who would like to play football next season. Weight and conditioning will be every, day, every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Workouts will start at 3 o'clock and conclude at 4.15 each day. On Sunday, January 7th, the girls' bowling team traveled to Greencastle to face Western Boone for the last regular season conference match. It was yet another day of troubles for some, but they still came home with a win. The girls finished the season as conference champs at 14 and 1. The top bowler was Jordan Anderson with a 188. The next event will be sectionals team event Saturday, January 13th in Lebanon, 3 o'clock. The individuals will be Sunday, January 14th at Crawfordsville at 2 p.m. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio. Thanks for watching the daily announcements. I'm Lily and this is Richard and we'll see you tomorrow.